Hi, I'm Brock England, and welcome to another episode of Wheel Love. We've got some American muscle for you today, a 1970 Ford Mustang, owned by a gentleman named Bob Ford. He set it up for some track work, uh, as well as some daily driving. This is a great car, and my first time at a four-point racing harness. My, this show is just full of first times for me. Uh, he's going to tell you about it. Thanks for watching. Mom had a 66 Mustang when I was growing up, and that was the car I learned to drive in. And the first car I drove when I got my license, it was 1972, and I was, I just turned 16, I got a job at, the, at a local Buick dealership. Well, three months later, uh, the wholesale truck dropped off a red and black 70 hardtop, and I fell in love with it. And the payments were $51 a month, and the down was $110, and I was terrified of those monthly $51 a month payments for four years. Oh my God. Him, the old man, co signed for me and got this Mustang and drove it for four years, had a great time with it. I use a lot of horse terms with this car. Its name is the Haas, and that's lowercase, by the way. People would always walk up to me at a car show and ask, is this a boss? And I would reply, no, it's just the Haas. It's kind of like a trail horse, you know, if you're a cowboy, you know. You don't know its name, you just ride it, it's your companion. You love it, but you don't know its name, you know, it's just, it's just the Haas. It seemed like another Mustang was only natural. And uh, so it's, uh, that red Mustang's uh, got a piece of my heart, you know, is uh, uh, part of my childhood, part of growing up. And to be able to sit behind the wheel of the same, you know, shaky old hood and long ass cowl and everything, you know, see the same, th same images as I saw when I was 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. You can't, you can't it's priceless. What would it take for you to sell this car? Everything passes and, and everything's for sale. And I've had people ask me that before. Um, uh, what I should say is get in line. And uh, because I have had a number of, I, I have policemen pull me over. And uh, excuse me, sir, we need to confiscate this vehicle because it's being investigated and part of a car theft ring, you know. You're right, Pally. <laughs> Step out of the car, please. <laughs> In your dreams, Doc. <laughs>